So, uh, used a 10 ton press to press the piston out of the uh, cylinder and didn't crack the block or anything, but uh, we used a stack of wood uh, piled up in here to support uh, the open side of the crankcase there and also um, used a steel similar size to, to the piston there to uh, so it didn't try to punch a hole right through the top of the piston um, as well as uh, I heated up the uh, the cylinder uh, the whole cylinder area with my uh, propane uh, brazing torch there uh, it was probably 450 500 degrees Fahrenheit and then we uh, cooled the piston off with snow and then uh, put penetrating oil in the cylinder and it kind of wicked its way in it was bubbling and stuff it was so hot and then dumped it out and uh, turned the engine upside down and dumped it in from the bottom also and then uh, heated it up again and put it in the press and uh, you know made some good snapping popping noises but uh, eventually the piston uh, did come out so I'll try to get some good views of the cylinder there see there's uh, a lot of corrosion but it's not if that's uh, it's sticking outward it's not it's not uh, corroded in I was worried maybe the uh, piston rings would have kind of bored their way into the cylinder but that didn't happen so I'll show some views of the piston here you got the, the piston pin on the one side there uh, and Rotate it here. Whole piston pin uh, right here is all full of corrosion. See in this area here, you can't even see where the rings are. It's, uh, whole bunch of sand come out of the bottom of the piston too. See, I haven't figured out whether this uh, motor was in a swamp or where it was, but there's just a whole bunch of really fine sand. It's not like mud, but it's like sand. Very, very peculiar anyways, but, but uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I damaged the piston. Uh, the top isn't collapsed or anything there like I, I thought it was uh, from pounding on it, but so it's in relatively you know good shape for what it's been through I'm gonna try soaking it in penetrating oil and uh, see if I can get the piston rings out of it so I can reuse it uh, turns out that this is an 8 cubic inch Briggs and Stratton so the the bore is 2 and 3 eighths inch not the standard uh, 2 and give or take 9 16 inch that a three and a half horse lawnmower is so this one would be a, a three horse and it's got that uh, unique uh, intake port there personally I don't think this thing would flow worth beans that's probably why they made it a, a separate uh, intake manifold when they went to the the nine cubic inch because the hole in the port there on the inside isn't very large at all so I think this was a kind of a stopgap engine between the the three horse and the three and a half that uh, is you know that continued up from the late 60s up into uh, well still probably building them here in 2018 so it's been a very uh, long lasting uh, design anyways but anyway just wanted to show you a video there that uh, we were able to uh, press the piston out uh, after we heated it up and oh uh, I wanted to mention that on my video there where I uh, was talking about uh, removing the valves out of it I, uh, I, heated, uh, I heated the valve guides up too with my uh, uh, brazing torch there so uh, that was an important thing to get the valves to, to pound down through was uh, heating heating those up so I forgot to mention that on that video but anyway so moving right along here with the 67 subterranean hope to reuse the piston